with me now, the stars of Rooster Teeth, Laser Team, the, I, was it number one movie? No, <laughs> no it wasn't number it was one. Like, <laughs> it one was of the not. top movies out this is, past weekend. The, it is, Laser Team is the number one crowdsourced film ever on the Indiegogo platform. And the number one ever for an original IP, original idea. And you are listening to Bernie Burns, everyone, Hello, and Gavin Free, also of slow-mo fame. Laser Team is the story, it's actually based on a real world event that took place in the 70s, where the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, those, sad, those uh, radar dishes, yeah. they picked up in the 70s, they actually picked up a signal. They could never <laughs> figure out what it was, they can't decipher this message. They've never been able to figure it out. So Ooh. we started our story from there that actually they were able to figure it out. That was our first contact with an alien civilization. And the message said two things. It said, you're not alone and the galaxy is a very dangerous place. And we're gonna kill you. Yeah, we're, we're yeah gonna stuff is coming ass. to kill you. So this group that we, or these aliens that we first contacted, they agreed to make for us a suit of power that one human being would wear as, as Earth made its debut out in the galaxy. Modern day, and the ship is arriving in the atmosphere to deliver the suit of power, but by a set of unfortunate and very funny circumstances, four idiots end up in the middle of a field where they accidentally shoot down this ship as it's coming to the military base to drop off the suit. When the ship crashes, they all put on a different piece of the suit and it locks onto them. So it's pretty awesome. It's a it, funny way to begin a story. Instead of having it one, it lends itself universe. to a lot of yeah. comedy. Oh, these are oh, that's these are it. All pieces of the suit. Gavin put it best. You know, when we were making this movie, we didn't want to make Rooster Teeth the movie. We wanted to make a Rooster Teeth movie. Yeah, like our movie to me feels very much like Rooster Teeth content. I think. That's oh yeah, important. I felt. But well, we was... had a full film crew yeah. that worked on it. It was like, massive. Yeah, they worked over on Dust Till Dawn. And... What I find fascinating is like you guys starred in a in a movie, but it's not necessarily like acting was your background even. Yet. No. And you, well, you've always been also personality. Yeah, I mean, we do a little bit of everything. Well, even though when we were <laughs> casting the movie. <laughs> We made sure we had six characters in the principal cast, and we knew that Rooster Teeth had a huge audience, but that we weren't household names. Uh, so we cast half the principal cast from Rooster Teeth, me and Michael Jones and Gavin here, and then the other three we cast from traditional Hollywood, like Alan Richson. Yeah. Uh, he just released the Blue Mountain State movie. You were in the movie. Yes. <laughs> Thanks nice for saying. Uh, I was for a moment. Thank you How for including me. I shot it at the Witch Training Studio. Yeah, so if you check out Laser Team, actually in theaters now, it'll be on YouTube Red in the next month. It'll be February 10th. They announced, February 10th. They announced okay, they it just recently. You guys grossed over 1 million, 100,000 tickets pre-sold in the first week. Yep. I mean, crazy. Beating It beat out some big Hollywood titles. Mm -hmm. um, what does that say about where we're heading and like what excites you about wh what you guys are going to do next? We knew that the theatrical run for Laser Team, a two and a half million dollar sci-fi movie, it wasn't going to be on 3,000 screens. We just knew that wasn't the case. So we started early on, we started a partnership with a company called Tug, hmm. which is an on-demand cinema. And so even for our fans in Europe and Australia and New Zealand and Canada, uh, they could set up a screening at huh. a local theater, and then when they sold enough tickets that would confirm the screening and then sell them out. I think we had something like 250 cities around the globe that showed Laser Team all in one night. It was like one giant wow. global... Wow, that's from just fans yeah. asking for it. We actually yeah. flew out to a few and we sent different members of the cast to different cities. Yeah. It's just like, I, I sometimes wonder like, how do you do what you do in terms of like timing? Like, for to write a movie like this, you need to like, give yourself some time. We've seen way too many web groups that are yeah. successful. They get an opportunity in either film or television and they disappear off the web while mm. they go into like pilot mode. Yeah. And then the pilot doesn't get picked up. Then they try to come back to the web and it's like that audience is gone. Yeah, it's yeah. like YouTube suicide. If it you is. Go, if you don't make anything mm -hmm. for a while, yeah. you might as well just delete the channel. The, the memory of, it's kind of sad, but the memory online is really short. People forget stuff the moment it's gone. That was a highlight of the What's Trending podcast. Thanks so much to Bernie Burns and Gavin Free for being on. Laser Team is in theaters now. YouTube Red, February 10th, and Amazing Race, this one. Yeah, this Root for me. him. Uh, subscribe for more right here on our channel. Like us on Facebook. And check out the full podcast, soundcloud.com slash What's Trending and What's Trending Podcast on iTunes. Bye.